Hello and God bless. This is Brother Tally. I just want to apologize if you hear noise in the background. I'm trying to record this um, right now and, you know, I have um, my family around me. So if there's noise, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, this video may turn into a 15, 20 minute video. But I can ensure you this information is very valuable to your walk. Uh, because this is part one of a weekly series that essentially I'm going to hopefully make. Uh, the next video, well, I'll let you know what that's about at the end of this video. But we're going to talk about something very important. In the book of Revelation 18.23, we read the following. By your magic spell, all the nations were led astray. Also in Nahum 3.4, it reads, All because of the wanton lust of a harlot. Alluring the mistress of sorceries who enslaved nations by her prostitution and people by her witchcraft. She is known by occultist as the Queen of Heaven. Others know her by Isis, Lilith, Asarti, Sophia, the female Holy Spirit, Asherah, or Diana. She is the goddess worshipped by Wiccans and pagans and Gnostic Christians as well. She is the harlot, and the book of Revelations warns us about this harlot. And we're going to be talking about the connection, and we're going to be talking about the exposing of this demoness. Because this is a demon, and this demon does not like to be exposed. Does not like to be exposed. Hallelujah. So pray, pray that all eyes are open today, and that the Holy Spirit moves as He wants to. Amen. As He wants to. Hallelujah. Praise the living name of Jesus Christ. Throughout history, Isis, and I'm going to read something that I found here very, very interesting. I have all my sort of notes here, so we're going to start. Throughout history, my friends, Isis and various forms of goddess worship has played a significant role in our religious and cultural makeup. Today, goddess veneration is still very much alive and well. And images of the goddess in various form can be identified in every state and providence. Uh, you can see goddess worship in commercials. You can see the spirit of Jezebel flowing through cartoons, flowing in people. And it is a dangerous spirit which is taking over churches, taking over homes. And she must be stopped in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now. The goddess, she's worshipped in many different packages. As you can see, some worship her as Isis, others worship her as Asarte, others worship her as Sophia in Gnosticism, Christians worship her as the female Holy Spirit in Gnosticism, Diana, Asherah, many different packages, but the same lie. As virgin of the world, Isis, for example, she birthed Horus, the Egyptian god of the sun and the moon, day and night. Now, metaphorically speaking, Isis is the celestial mother of the sun of the sun god. It was her son Horus who eventually killed Typhoon, the Egyptian devil. If you notice the similarities between that and Christianity, essentially. Now, according to this legend, Isis, mother of all, mother of all, remains eternally virgin. So, according to the legend of this Babylonian religion. Isis was the eternal mother and still remains eternally virgin. And we're going to look at the similarities between Isis and we're going to look at the similarities between the Catholic Church very, very soon. Now, Isis is normally portrayed as the virgin with child. Okay. Now, the Catholic Church has this connection with Isis with the following. Look at this. The Catholic Church also believes that Mary is the eternal virgin mother of God. So basically, the Catholic Church is the copycat of these mystery religions. The Catholic Church has infiltrated and has created this masquerade of a religion which is nothing more than Baal worship, my brothers and sisters. Nothing more than Baal worship. Hallelujah. Because we have to understand that, yes, Mary was the, was the virgin mother of Jesus Christ, but she did not remain a virgin. And Mark 6, 3 actually lists four of Jesus' brothers and mentions sisters as well. Nor was the biblical Mary sinless. So she was not a virgin nor a sinless person. Romans 3.23 says that we have all sinned and that includes Mary. So why does the Catholic Church... Why does the Catholic Church worship Mother Mary? Why does they exalt her? Why do they do this? Because it's goddess worship. They're worshipping that spirit, that Jezebel, that harlot, 
same worship of that spirit different package I want you to understand that today so let's take a look at something else very important my brothers and sisters Isis Isis I, we just spoke about Isis how the Catholic Church is mimicking exactly the same thing of that mystery religion now finding an actual statue of Isis may not be as easy as finding the all-seeing eye my brothers and sisters goddess symbols are prevalent throughout America though as an example in Virginia in Virginia some of the features they actually feature a Roman goddess virtues the Statue of Liberty which you're looking at the screen is a goddess representation with her sun ray spikes an allusion to the headgear of the Colossus of Rhodes a monument to the Sun God Helios now the maker of this statue's name was Augusti Bertoldi he was the creator of the Statue of Liberty and he was actually seeking a commission to construct a giant Isis statue holding a torch overlooking the Suez Canal look at how this is it's amazing it's goddess worship It's that spirit that harlot running rampant all over this world but if you don't open your eyes if you don't open your eyes and discern you will not see it you will not see it because the harlot spirit is very good at prostituting herself I don't know if you've ever seen how a prostitute operates a prostitute does anything to deceive and does anything to get you to buy her goods even if she has to act like she's hurt even if she has to act like she wants you even if she has to seduce you whatever is necessary a prostitute will do and the Word of God compares this Jezebel spirit to a harlot okay now if we look at the the, the promotion of goddesses and music videos by Lady Gaga feminism promoted by uh, so many artists promoting the Jezebel spirit it's all around us it's all around us all around us so we must be aware that Satan is tirelessly trying to deceive mankind always doing it but you have to remember one thing whether she is called Isis Diana virtues Sabelle Rhea, Sophia, the female Holy Spirit, or Mother Mary by the Catholics. The concept is always the same. The lifting up of a pagan goddess as a replacement for the true God. Exodus 22-3 says the following. I am your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. So where has it gone wrong, my brothers and sisters? There's some of you right now that don't know it, but you've been deceived by this very spirit. This demonic spirit. Revelation 17, 5 through 6 says the following. And upon her forehead was written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. You see, this spirit, this demonic principality, its main agenda is to get you to worship anything other than the true God of the Bible. That's the agenda here, okay? So, why are so many people bowing down to the Catholic Church system? Why are so many people bowing down to uh, goddess worship in Christianity? Why are so many people worshiping the Queen of Heaven? Why are so many people doing such things? It's because of the new age leaven that has filtered into the church. The word of God says in Galatians 5.9, A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Just a little bit. That's all it takes. All it takes is a little bit of a compromise that you make to allow that little leaven into your life. And that little leaven, leaven once it comes into your life, once it comes into your congregation, it messes up the whole lump. So let's take a look at how this New Age Goddess worship has infiltrated the church. Let's talk about Sophia. Talk about Sophia. Now, occultists literally believe that Sophia is wisdom because the Greek word Sophia essentially, according to them, means wisdom in English. More than that, occultists believe that Sophia is the wisdom of deity. She has been revered as the Queen of Wisdom and wore Athena by the Greeks. Isis by the Egyptians and the Holy Spirit of God by Gnostic Christians. She is known as the Chakma in Hebrew and Sapienta in Latin. She is the same goddess in different packages being worshipped by many. 
Now Nasek sees Sophia as one of the Aeons, one of the quasi-deities who lived eternally in the realm known as the Pleroma. Now Gnostics believe that she gave birth to a creation of a negative Aeon who you and I know as Yahweh. Gnostics believe that that was her creation. Now Yahweh ha wanted to make an earth and make human beings. So according to Gnostics, he made human beings in Adam and Eve. But the mother, Sophia, the mother, the mother goddess, which some known her as the mother earth, she decided, you know what, I'm going to set them free. So Gnostics, if you look at the traditions of Gnosticism, they vary, but the large majority of them believe that the serpent in the Garden of Eden was actually Sophia who came to deliver mankind and open their eyes to set them free. So Sophia saw that her son, her creation, Yahweh, was evil, vindictive. So what did she do? Besides opening their eyes in the Garden of Eden, she came into the woman's womb and basically out came Jesus. So Sophia, according to Gnostics, is that Holy Spirit and is that spirit which brought forth Jesus. Do you see that? That's what Gnostics believe. And that's that little new age leaven that has infiltrated the church and is causing a lot of people who are people who are essentially feminist who be seduced by this spirit. And you can normally tell a person seduced by the spirit when they talk with a chip on their shoulder. Uh, men don't want me to preach. It's because I'm a woman that men attack me. It's because I'm a woman that they don't want me to be used and fulfill my destiny in Christ. That is the Jezebel spirit speaking through that person and we have to recognize it. I'm talking about a new age leaven in the church. New age leaven in the church. Now if we look at Jeremiah 44. In Jeremiah 44, if we read from 19 on, we see that they were actually burning incense to, incense to the Queen of Heaven. And they poured out drinks and offerings to her. They made cakes to worship her and poured out drinks and offerings to her. Who was that Queen of Heaven? You guessed it. That Jezebel harlot spirit. She's been worshipped in the Bible. She's worshipped by Wiccans as the Mother Earth. It's the same spirit in different packages. I want you to understand that. Whether they worship her as Athena, whether some in the Catholic Church worship her as Mother Mary, whether in the Egyptian cultures they worship her as Isis, it's the same goddess being worshipped. Okay? So we have to be very, very careful because this is part of the deception, my brothers and sisters. If you look at Isis, for example, just to show you how this worship of this goddess existed, even in the Old Testament. Isis, as I told you, she gave birth to who? To Horus, alright? Now her son Horus is the one who eventually killed Typhoon, the Egyptian devil. Understands that all of these stories are derived from the true accounts of the Bible, okay? But they are meant and they're exaggerated and they're changed. They're essentially created fables out of the true events that actually happened. Okay, so what happened? The Catholic Church took the very exact thing. The Catholic Church, just as Isis is, exa is exalted as the eternal queen of heaven, as the eternal mother goddess, which remained the virgin, the Catholics exalt the mother, uh, mother Mary as the same thing. So it's the same exact thing, but it goes deeper beyond this. Who was Isis? Isis was essentially the mother of Horus, who was the god of the sun. Okay. So that's why you see that there's so much sun worship, okay? And we're going to get into that into another video. God condemned sun worship. God condemned the worship of idols. If you notice in the tabernacle, a person could not simply come from any direction into the tabernacle as he pleased. He had to enter through one gate, which was always located to the east, my family. So the people were facing west when they entered the tabernacle, a direct opposition to the pagan sun worshippers of the day. Who always faced east. We must be aware of this new age leaven entering the church because this new age leaven is damaging so much. This harlot as the book of Revelation calls her, this mystery, this Babylon the Great, the mother of all harlots, the abominations of the earth. You must be very careful just as the tabernacle was separate of the world it had only one gate for you to enter the holies of holies. The same way today there's only one way to come to God the Father. God is one. God is not a woman. God is not any of that stuff. So be very very careful. Because just as if you go to the store today. And you see a bag of chips of barbecue chips. You see a bag of ranch barbecue chips. You see a bag of uh, 
uh, Frito-Lay. You see a bag of so many different things. They're the same maker, Frito-Lay. Same chips. They're all made of potatoes, but different tastes and flavors. But when you really get down to it, the ingredients are almost the same. The maker is almost the same, and you're buying the same product. That's what's happening today. People are worshipping this harlot and not even knowing it. And in the next video, we're going to get into the Jezebels in the pulpit. And that video is going to cause a lot of people here on YouTube to get upset. But so be it. We have to face this demon. Revelation 2.20 Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servant to commit fornication eat things sacrificed unto idols we have to understand that there's few people realize the enormity of the revolution going on in our midst and even as I speak right now some of you are saying so what Tally you know this is not a really interesting topic but we must understand that the Jezebel spirit seeks to hide itself seduce intimidate manipulate murder and trade anything she can for her success some people talk about the Jezebel spirit because this kind of spirit was, was working powerfully to Queen Jezebel, a Sidonian princess who married King Ahab of Israel and killed so many prophets of God. The Queen of Heaven, the spirit of Jezebel, Mystery Babylon, the harlot spirit, which some know as Sophia, the female Holy Spirit, others know her as Isis, as we said, Mother Earth, and many other things, is a very religious spirit. She will appear to you and pretend to be the most holy person in the world. But she is a liar. She is a deceiver. She will tell you that she can give you the answers that you need. And you can go to her for biblical explanations and she'll answer them to you and be so kind and nice. But wait till you tell her no. Wait till you tell her no. She's going to say that you're full of demons. She's going to say that you're in rebellion. And she'll do anything she can. She'll even start crying like a little girl whenever she has no other means. Just to manipulate and seduce you. There are many people who are connected to this harlot spirit. And we're going to talk more about that in the next video. I want you to understand that the mystery religion, the Babylonian spirit, is alive and well. And uh, I think it's time for me to cut it off right now. But hopefully, when you see the next video, you can open your eyes more as examples of how this spirit is working in today. May God bless you very, very much. If you're a person who's been deceived by the female Holy Spirit, by Sophia, by um, uh, so many of these doctrines of devil maybe you're a Catholic who's been deceived by the Mother Mary worship my hope today is that you repent and you turn to Christ he is the only way the tabernacle explains so much as to how we can approach God the tabernacle is so awesome in explaining to us that it was separate of the world it had walls to separate the holy from the unholy will today you turn to Christ and only Christ for your salvation well, today will you renounce that spirit of Jezebel, which is a liar and is a harlot and is trying to deceive mankind? My hope is that you do. But just in case you need more information, tune in this Friday. Because that video is going to show you a clear demonstration of the spirit of Jezebel working in today's church, working in today's politics. And, well, just tune in. God bless you.